Hey, welcome back. It's everybody's back today. I am. Yes, I am. It's good to be here, David. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Uh, let's get to the rundown. Tonight we're going to be talking about healthcare. Healthcare. The healthcare industry. We're going to be talking about global foundries, and we've got some bits and pieces from the world of business. Yes, we do. Yeah, it's going to be a good segment. I guess I should introduce you as well. People you, probably know you by this point. No, right? let's still do it, though. I liked okay. it when you do that. Yeah. Stephen Carlton, first vice president from Jenny <laughs> Montgomery Scott, is here. Things are just a little all over the place. I'm blaming the meds. Absolutely. All right. Uh, news today, Glens Falls Hospital, we talked about mm -hmm. it earlier in the show, uh, yes. looking at ways to work with Albany Medical Center. Mm -hmm. a, a bit of a trend going on in our local healthcare industry. Absolutely it is. You know, David, it, you know, when we face challenges, when the economy gets difficult, there's opportunity in all those challenges. And one of the things that's really been a, a wonderful to see is the quality of the healthcare hasn't suffered. In the tough economy with, with the challenges of adjusting to Obama, Affordable Health Care Act, um, the local hospitals have partnered together to bring best-in-class, world-class services to our area, and they've done a phenomenal job with it. Yeah, the latest, uh, as we're showing you pictures of Glens Falls Hospital, they're the latest to announce that they are, um, are, are have initiated a process to identify opportunities to collaborate that will benefit patients. Absolutely. Um, Glens Falls Hospital, not the first local health organization to team up with Albany Med either. Well, Albany Med and Glens Falls have partnered in various capacities over the years, absolutely. And then they've really kind of begun to appreciate and understand how to work together. Yeah. Saratoga's coming on board with this as well. They've got the, the hospital uh, out towards Malta. Yeah, they're the, putting in, a, I guess it's an urgent care facility yes. at the 12 in Malta for that growing area. Which is absolutely needed to be so close to the facilities that are there, the plants and everything else. I think this is, uh, it's the kinds of equipment that people need to have in that part of the community. So so it's, yeah. it's a really exciting piece. Spending $13 million on that facility yeah, absolutely. in Malta. And then, of course, uh, the, the one that started it all was St. Mm. Peter's. Yes, um, it was St. Peter's Health Partners, though it was took Northeast Health, mm -hmm. uh, Seton Health, St. Mary's Hospital, which is in Troy, of course, and mm. St. Peter's Health Partners. This area, you know, upstate New York, you, you, it, I think people are surprised to know how much our hospitals have adapted and evolved over the last couple of years. And, you know, really St. Peter's started it for our area in many ways, looking at the various partnerships in the area and saying, let's be best in class for this. Let's give our, our, this area of health care towards this hospital. And they've kind of divvied up the specialties to each hospital according to their strengths. And I think that's worked very well the last couple of years. Yeah, it definitely has. While we were talking about the Malta area, they're putting that massive health care facility in there. There's a reason for that. There's lots of people moving to yeah, the Malta Yeah, what's going area. on in there? I, I drove by and I was wondering. There's, yeah. there's something happening in the woods there, in the forest. In, yeah. Um, uh, of course, we reported that this, this week, a 1,000 mm -hmm. new jobs coming to Global Foundries, 500 going to their new administrative building there, yes. another 500 going to a research and development mm. uh, facility. Big news today, though, yeah. that that's the springboard for a possible $10 billion plant. Yeah, th this is huge news. We've been talking about this now for, uh, it's got to be almost a year. Yeah. The, this plant, you know, 8.1 they call it, uh, this is just the launching point. Uh, the Global Foundries is committed to upstate New York. Uh, this, new pre this new development in the R&D phase is going to give us new cutting-edge product lines. It's going to develop and going to expand. And I think it's very, very likely we're going to see other buildings brought into that area. And it's huge. All the other businesses around it, all the other uh, opportunities, uh, other factories that are going to come into the area, this is just the beginning. And when you look at, you know, some of the recruiting for the, the people that are getting trained in these fields, people are looking to this area to find the talent, which it, to me is just incredible. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier in the week, and we, you and I were talking about today Samsung coming to the area because they're looking to attract some of the folks that are now coming to this area. Think about it. To We've go done to Austin, which was. Yeah. You know? Unheard of. Yeah. I, I think about that five years ago, that, that companies like Samsung, these, these other high-tech companies, are coming to upstate New York to find the talent. You know, they, we, the, the announcement with Cuomo saying New York is open for business, I think upstate New York is, is turned a page, and I think we've got a lot of momentum in this area. Uh, there's a lot to be excited about. Even though the economy is difficult for many parts of the U.S., um, this area has been very, very fortunate to, to have some of those opportunities. Yeah, this area in upstate New York, we've talked about it before, New York is really open for business again mm -hmm. between the microchip plants going in, the mm -hmm. yogurt industry, which is just flourishing in the central part of the state. Yep. Um, something for everybody. Let's get to some, yeah. uh, some Main Street stories, uh, some things happening on Broadway in Saratoga Springs. Um, let's start with Putnam Market. Absolutely. So I go to Uncommon Grounds for coffee in the morning, and it's always fun for me because invariably one or two people come up and say, hey, did you see this going on or did you see that going on in Saratoga? And so people are all talking about Putnam Market this week, and they're saying, did you see that it's closed? 
they're renovating. Yeah. And Putnam Market is one of those great places where you go to get a sandwich at lunch and they've got this great product line, a lot of stuff that you don't get typically in a grocery store. And they've got everything all cleaned out in there and I think they're going to be doing a, 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 a redoing the whole store. Yeah. I think it's going to be great. So those $9 salads are now going to be 14 or something <laughs> like that. A little bit of a pricey salad. But it was yeah. originally rumored that they were going to be the one that would go into the Bonaccio building that Price Chopper Limited eventually went into. There was yes. always talk that Putnam Market was going to become this bigger thing. So yeah. uh, doing a retrofit on, on theirs. And then right across the street close, as you take your stroll with your coffee in the morning. Absolutely. There yes. are cranes working on the metal work for the new Not bookstore. just any cranes. I mean, yeah. these, these are. I think this has got to be the biggest crane that's been in Saratoga. It's massive. You can see it from anywhere in the city. The, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm up on the, on the railroad street, and I can see from my office it's over all the other buildings. And uh, they've got the steel structures going up, so the Vermont bookstore that we've been talking yep, about for North a while. Books, yep. Absolutely. And then the, the candy store that's going in, which is a national chain, that structures, the foundation's in, the steel pillars are in. So Saratoga, even though it's wintertime, yeah. everything's still all go. Well, the nice thing about this mild weather has been that these mm. construction projects have been able to continue because, uh, you know, the ground hasn't frozen. So yeah. they can continue to pour cement. I think the biggest crane we ever saw was when the parking garage went up. That, oh, that was pretty big, massive. too. That's that thing was true. massive. That's true, yeah. And just one other thing on Broadway, the chocolate mm. mill. Glens Falls success story yes. is now open for business um, yeah. on Broadway as well. And I was always a little jealous about that because when I come up to Glens Falls on Thursday yeah. to do the news, I could walk across and get it. So now I've got something in Saratoga to go to. All right. Stephen Carlson, first Vice President for Jenny Montgomery. Well. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Thank you, sir. To see this and all our Look at Finance segments, head for the website. It's looktvonline.com. We post them right there every week.